Help me. Help me. My leg hurts. Occupational safety and health is a discipline. It's a broad scope involving many specialized fields. In other words, safety and health involving mental, social, and physical of a person as a workers in their working place. So uh, uh, what I just uh, did just now is a mimic to, a, uh, to an accident that might happen to your, uh, at your place and will happen to you maybe in the future. So today, I and my group, as your future engineer, we present to you our topic entitled Role of Engineers in Safety and Health Fields. My main point is development of work, organization and working culture. There will be two supporting points for my, for my main point. So first supporting point is engineer should know which aspect of organization to embrace in research analysis to prevent conflict. The organization is just not important to a company management, but also a great a significant for a person work in their situation. For example, like engineer should put their working place if, depending on their zone. For example, like they should put red zone, maybe yellow and green zone. So when there is a red zone, they should they should put more safety precaution to prevent any injuries or accident that might occur at the zone. Furthermore, engineers should maintain unity and create a sense of belonging with their workers and a, uh, and a, work, a work group to reduce the conflict and misunderstanding. So, my, my, my next supporting point is promote positive social climate to have a good culture in working place. The culture of organization makes a great contribution to a company and makes the company great. Examples of good culture are good communication, ups and downs across the organization, a fair discipline and meaningful involvement of the workplace in all aspects around the company. Is that I will continue the presentation with the second main point, which is individual role as engineer. As you can see, this is engineer at the factory. Thanks. The individual role of engineer is to follow the ethics in the working place like the other workers. This is because engineer is a leader in some factories. So, a leader needs to show a good attitude to other technicians, which follow the rule. The technician also can gain respect, can respect the engineer because the engineer is a good engineer because they follow the rule. Next, which follow the ethic. We can also protect ourselves from becoming danger. This is because at the factory, safety actually is a number one because safety comes first and the others come later. The next is alert to its environment and well known the precaution step and safety procedure. This is because if we alert with an environment, we can give immediate action. For example, our technicians have injured because of some saw blade or fall uh, heavy things. So if we alert with environment, we can know where is the fire extinguisher, where is the first aid. So we can give the immediate action to the Next is, we also need to know the safety procedure, which is when there are some fire occur and what's next to do. So if we know the procedure, everything can move smoothly. With alert with environment, we can also prevent the injuries become fatal because we give uh, early treatment. So we also can detect danger at early stage. For example, we have 
No, all our environment and some things, at some day, we feel that a machine vibrate more vigorously or the sound is more rough. So, we can check the machines and we know, oh, this machine have a loose screw. So, we tie it and we can prevent from become accident. Next. The next point is the maintenance and promotion of focus health and working capacity. As you can see, this is the technicians and they are control some machines. So, how to maintain and promote focus health and working capacity, which remind technicians about safety in the working place? We need to remind every time to the technician about the safety. The basic things of the safety is a helmet and the safety boots. At the site, actually, they are a safe place because there are some safety level that safety. So, dangerous is occur only if you are careless. So, because at the factory or the sites, there are some sharp thing for a saw blade, there are explosive material, there are some heavy material that's hanging over our head. So a small mistake can cause danger and can make an accident or maybe can even cause death. Next is to make sure all the machine in the best conditions. How? This we know the last time of the machines. So if we know the life span of the machine, we know the limit and when we need to service the machines. So sometimes the machine can reach the limit earlier because they are something because they are used every day every day. So if we know the life span, so we can estimate when we need to check or we need to change the spare part. So we also know the broken system of the machines. So, next. Okay, uh, for the next point is improvement of working environment and work to become conducive to safety and health. Okay, the point is to create a plan to promote workplace health and safety. Okay, as role, uh, we as a role of uh, um, <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, uh, for the next point is improvement of working environment and working and work to become conducive to safety and health. Okay, how are we gonna improve the environment? Okay, the first step is to create a plan to promote workplace health and safety. Okay, firstly, uh, uh, as a role of engineer, we can develop a safety plan. With this safety plan, uh, we must ensure uh, and we must give a briefing to our workers about uh, what will we as an engineer do for their safety and what the workers must do for also for their, uh, to ensure their safety. Okay? Uh, with this kind of connection, uh, we can we can ensure that the plan that we are provided uh, will be uh, the plan that we are provided uh, can can be do by the workers. Okay, the next one is to provide safety precaution steps and procedure. Okay, if uh, we the as an engineer, if we don't provide the safety. Precaution, steps and procedure is one of the biggest fault uh, to uh, ensure the safety and health in a working place. Because uh, as workers, uh, some of the workers know and some of the workers don't know what the precaution and what the step if there are any hazard or there are any uh, incident happen. So with this kind of uh, precaution and steps, they will, they will know what they must do to ensure the safety when they are working and to ensure their safety so 
uh, to ensure their safety when they are working. Okay, the next one is uh, to train your workers and employees. Okay, with this kind of step, uh, we must give a pro uh, when we when we have give the procedure when we have give the guide. So the next thing we have we gonna do is uh, to pro uh, to provide a training because uh, when we provide the guide, we must also uh, provide the training to give the to give the understanding to the workers how they gonna apply the guide and the procedure that we have given. Because uh, especially if there a risk of potential injury associated with a job, okay. So when uh, the workers have given the training, uh, they will know and, and they will much uh, they will have better understanding uh, with that kind of situation. Okay. Uh, next step is talk regularly with the worker or employees about uh, the safety issues and uh, safety and health issues uh, that are a cure in the working place. Okay, uh, sometimes workers uh, are, not very, uh, are not very good at listening uh, and that's why we must talk regularly because uh, for example, uh, when we as a child and um, our parents uh, want, us, uh, want us to do something, something good, right? Such as wash our dishes and throw our rubbish in the bin, uh, they will talk about it regularly. So it's just also like a training in a real place, in a real life. So uh, and there will be costs if we don't uh, do what our parents, our parents said, right? The, uh, for example, for example. <laughs> Uh, our pocket money uh, will be cut and we cannot get what we want in the future. So this is one of the techniques that we use uh, to make sure all the employees are alert with the situation in the working place. Okay, uh, for the conclusion, for the conclusion uh, that we have is as a role of engineer uh, to ensure the safety and health in uh, in a certain organization or a certain workplace is by developing uh, by develop of work organization and working culture uh, individual role individual role as engineer is also important is also important to ensure the safety and health uh, in a working place and the third one is the maintain the maintenance and promotion of workers health and working capacity and lastly, uh, improvement of working environment and work to become conducive to safety and health. Okay, all of these points is is really crucial and is really important because uh, if we don't do our role in as an as an engineer, this is our role. Okay, if we don't do, it will cost many things. It will it will cost money. It will cost time. It will cost work. It will cost energy. And the most, the most important thing it will cost, it will cost a life. So I think uh, life is more, life is more worth than any other thing. So I think uh, that's all. Thank you.